and I don't think it made him happy. Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Anything happened after? So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several oh, weeks, I wow. guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Coda should make more games. So let's take a look. The Tower. Oh god, it's gonna be like super sad. The art, it looks like an art museum. Then again, most of his games look like an art museum. Stage like stuff, stage lights up above. The labyrinth again. No. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Yeah. It's a very cold game. It is. But, like, his most, like, recent games, they felt cold. I, like, I don't think showing it to people is a good idea, like... This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze oh. are invisible. And then, every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The yes, game it goes is. beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. Well, but there has to be a solution. The, of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter, and I'll put a bridge over the maze. But the fact that he made it a maze meant that there's also a possibility that you could make it through. If he, if... And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable, like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? That he doesn't want the he doesn't want to the try The only way anymore, past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the Invisible Maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything oh. else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. Uh, uh, take a while. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked How him, do I? but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can oh. move on. I was going to go like 0001, 02, all the way. This is good, too, I guess. Ah, uh, whoops. Ugh. One, five. One, six. Nah, man. Dave, like... He, like... He did what I was about to do. What else could... He, he could have looked through the code. I forgot this is, like, a game. He's a game de developer. Code is a game developer. Is there more to this game, the tower? Hole. Okay. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's you, actually you just can't, no way to you progress. Can't. Okay. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely. Just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. I think, I think you have like a god complex, not like a god complex, so like... Let me do that. Like, you feel like, I don't know what's called, I don't know what names of comp, but like, the thing, like, you, you feel like you have to fix everything. Like, I know a few people who are like that. So, I'm, sometimes I have to be like... Game. 
Sometimes yeah, there are sometimes there are things you don't have to like understand, everything man. Everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. Not you don't have to fix everything. Not everything has a solution. It's June 2011. You just have to leave. I'm playing this for the very first time. Okay. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. You don't know. I have no all. idea who this person is. You it thought wasn't you did, the guy but... I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them. None of them made any sense. I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For been years, I was understand. trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him, please, to tell me what the three dots. Yeah, are. you, you, you've seen them. You, okay. So, they do mean something. You want? Know, what do the three dots mean? Do we get a solution? Is this just I like? I felt so strongly that if I could have connected the end of the story, if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me, but he stopped and left, and it felt somehow like I had failed. Wow! Is this like the I end? Is there like is there like a happy ending to the story? Is there is this the ending or is there more? I I want more to happen. I want to conclude. Dear Davy, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to, to ask you not to speak to me anymore. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? Oh no! Because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. He was. He, he was the one. He was the person who destroyed his games. He was the person that threatened to destroy him. He. He tried. Like, here's his tip: not everything has a meaning. I don't don't I try and pry this, meaning into someone who doesn't when have I any. Work and I was showing it to people. It actually felt. <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important. I and wonder valuable. at times whether you think I am making these games for you. You've infected- Yeah, I thought so, you're prying- And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was- I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. They began to plant solutions in my work somewhere, hidden between games. Solutions? If there was an answer, a meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop playing my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that is not yours to give. Violating one battery that keeps me safe. And so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't show these. You shouldn't have shown them to other people. Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lampposts to them. The lampposts. What? Would you simply let you them stopped. be what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. I I just had to be with myself. And as soon as when that around happened, you feel physically there was oh God. no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. You desperately need mean? something, and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more more about you than about me. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. No. Was there something nope. Which is fine, you're 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 not my problem to solve. But I'm not but you're not but Koda, you're you're not his problem to solve either. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. 
And when I and when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. It's the puzzle. The watch like they'll ever not be there this time. <gasps> I, oh, That's I called it. Why I'm releasing this collection of your work? I called it is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and. So a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put I my name on it, worse, maybe enough man. people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. Oh no. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is is something wrong with me? Because I know that oh, I did an no. awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm showing people your work, yeah, the, but this isn't... I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. This, this, Start this making is games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing. You put into your work. You were complete oh God, in some way no. that I never was. And I want to know how to how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. The walls Please. are closing. The walls are closing. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Oh shoot. Is this is this the end, right? Is there more of this story? It'd be a miracle if there was, but it seems like this is the end. Like, there's nothing more unless Coda speaks to us. The screen's just black right now. Epilogue. Did Coda come back to you? Did he say something to you? Please tell us. Or tell me. Well, I guess I'm recording this. So, it's really, like, he... Coda didn't put the lamppost in his work. That was just Davy tampering with it, trying to get some meaning out of his game, even though there was no meaning to begin with. Whoa, I just, I just came philosophical there. Wow. Yeah, like, he kept saying, there needs to be a destination, more, blah, blah, blah. More, 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 more. This is more another game? love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. This guy made Stanley Parable, it's like wow. It's like a whole... This is like totally different. I've never played this in the parable. I've seen it before. The train, train to leave. Platform nine three quarters. Eh. 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 What does this mean? Eh. What is this supposed to mean? What am I supposed to do here? Nothing? Can I even do anything? What is supposed- to, is this the end? An ending where nothing- Oh wait, no, you get on the thing. Uh, you get on- you get on the train. You grab- find a seat, sit in it. Cool kids sit in the back. Cool kids sit in the back. Solution. 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 What the heck? Ugh. Like, I, I... I guess if someone had told oh, me ahead okay. of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. That could be it. I feel like some way connected to Coda. I can like connect to Coda because like I I say things that like I make, but like people get a different meaning out of things I like do. Like I do if I do like I can't think of a specific example, but like if I do some people like people think whoa or dude are you okay? I'm like no no it was just a joke it was just a joke. Like if I make like a, a murder joke I'm like dude are you like okay? People um people are just like. Yeah, people are like, oh, dude, are you okay? I'm like, no, 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 it's just a joke. It's fine, it's fine. That's weird. 
That's what I was saying. Like showing it to people is making it worse. It could be he just likes making prison games. The disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Sand. Dark space. Is that it? Is that the end? Is there more? And there is. Like, is this a game that Coda created, or is this something Davy created? If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Life without validation. Uncertainty. That is something most pe a lot of people fear. Uncertainty. Un the unknown. Not knowing anything could be a scary thing without any validation. What now? I don't know, man. I don't know why this game keeps going. I thought it, it would end after the tower, but it keeps going on. I think I need to go. Go where? Disneyland. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. You're going to let me explain whatever lot that this I is need on to my own? Up for, and so I'm just going to. Okay. Oh, is this the... Is this his Counter-Strike map? Oh, no. I thought it would be his Counter-Strike map. Wow, my family's being really loud right now. I'm not sure if guys can... If, I'm not sure if my mics pick that up. I hope it isn't totally ruining the atmosphere for me. What is this? Well, there goes nothing. Elevator? I don't have to go through here. I can go. Oh, okay. I can just go back up there if I want. Unless this just stops there. I hope it doesn't. I hope it gives you a choice. Like, you can go back up the way you can. You'll be trapped there forever, like a prison. Uh, okay, I thought I passed it. Okay, okay, good. Okay, it kind of scared me a bit. Looks like a sand temple. Back at this. This looks like a thing again. This looks like, um. Um, a uh, train station. What is up these steps? Something's gonna be up the steps. Th this is a really good game, guys. Just. I recommend just buying it. You guys should really buy it. Wow. Experience. Oh, I guess. I guess there's no point in you guys buying it anymore. Because if 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 you've watched this playthrough all the way up to here, then I think you've experienced most of the story already. But you can just buy this. Like maybe try different dialogue options. Maybe you can try and um find different meaning in it. Maybe or you can just buy it to the to like support. Davy and Coda. Oh, it's the whisper machine. It's the whisper machine. Am I gonna float? Am I gonna die? Or am I gonna float? Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna float. But then I see nothing. Well, is that it? Is that the end? Is there more? 
I don't... Aw, oh, shoot. What is this? What is this? Whoa. I'm just saying, that all looks fake. It looks like a JPEG on the floor, but... Like, at least if, like, up to, like, a certain point. Whoa. Is the end? Oh, shoot. This was a... This was an experience. Probably won't forget it. Well... How's the beginner's guide? I'm not gonna like end it off. I think there's gonna be more. Oh, I just wait till the title screen or er, menu screen. That was a game. Credits for R. This project would not have been possible without the following individuals: Matthew Brake. Jesus Higares, Lydia Nelson, Jack Parsons, and oh, sorry, didn't get through there, but yeah. Turned back by, written by Helena Heron, performed by Helena Heron and Ryan Roth. Well, this is an additional thing. Aviva Pichas, uh, I'm not gonna say this, I'm sorry. Well, that was quite the game. Makes you think more about, like, the actual, um, person who's, who made the game. Uh, does it make... That was an experience. Hope I'll never forget it. And, that's it. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed The Beginner's Guide. Buy it on Steam, support Coda and Davy. Buy Stanley Parable, I guess. And if you're watching this in winter, I doubt you are. And, like, I'm recording this, like, Christmas. Um, and it's not, it was on sale, but... Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. And, uh, as always... Sonic out. See you guys.